guys, how are we? Very, very special episode this week. It's episode 10! Episode 10! And, 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 and. Auto reverb as well. Gee, I'm good to my fans, aren't I? Guys, how good is that? The big 1 0. We did it! We made it together. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking to yourselves that, wait, this is actually episode 11. Well, technically, you're right. And I only realized that episode 10 was last week, but I'd already finished filming it at that point and didn't have time to go back and reshoot. So what we're going to do is pretend that the first episode was totally a practice episode. And this week is definitely episode 10. Episode 10! 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! I am excited guys, I hope you're excited. And as a bit of a celebration of episode 10, I thought we'd do a bit of a top 10! Top 10 things. Now we've talked about a lot of things on this blog, but... Talked about jetpacks, we've talked about... Um... Oh yeah, pretty much jetpacks. But this week, this week guys... Thought I'd give you my top 10 outfits. That's right, thought I'd delve into some Barry Steak Fries fashion. And I know you're thinking to yourselves, you don't know anything about fashion, steak fries. Sitting there every week in the same outfit. Well, that's just mean. It's mean to me, mean to my lazy animators, but it's also wrong. I do know my fashion and I'm going to prove it right now with my fashion top 10. So here we go. At number 10, first up, paper bag. That's right, guys. The paper bag. I know you think it's a bit of a laugh. Ha ha ha. Barry Steak Fries. He's ugly as sin. So he's got to put a paper bag on his head. And that's also really mean. But you're also wrong. Because I like the paper bag. So the joke's on you, guys. I like it. it feels nice on your skin. It's uh, quite a good insulator against the old zappers. And uh, got to tell you, with that bad boy on my head... My eyebrows and my precious five o'clock shadow, they are remaining unsinged, no matter what happens to explode on my face, which as we all know, can be quite a lot. So that one makes the top 10. Number nine, safety helmet. Pretty self-explanatory, had to get that one in there. Just really helps take the edge off from all the potential life-threatening concussions. Uh, number eight, the Sensei's Threads, obviously, got to be up there, because i got to tell you, if you haven't experienced the breezy bliss of zipping through the air with an open kimono, <laughs> you are missing out, my friends. Also, outfit comes with a bonus sword, so it's all good there. Nothing to hate about that one. Uh, number six, the Robo Barry. Now, I think everyone, at some point in their lives, they'll ask themselves, what would I look like as a Terminator? Am I right? Well, I know I'm right. I'm Barry Steak Fries. And uh, now I know what I'd look like as a Terminator. What? Sorry, legal departments just informed me that I would know what I look like as a generic cyborg, not affiliated with any franchise. Robo Barry makes the list. Uh, what's next? The kingly crown and the royal robes. Love that, obviously. You know, Barry Steak Fries getting some of the recognition that he deserves at last. Am I right? Episode ten. Uh, what else? Uh, Number four, just love the ninja outfit. Obviously, it comes with a sword as well, which is another bonus. And, you know, ninjas are cool. Who's going to deny that? No one. I like the mask on that one too. It's a nice touch. Uh, just got to make sure you've uh, brushed your teeth before you go putting that on or uh, not quite as much fun. Uh, number three, I'd have to say the medieval armor is totally cool because, you know, who doesn't like knights? Well, the jetpacks don't like it much. Honestly, it's... Uh, Takes a fair bit of firepower to get 30 odd kilo of metal up into the air. But uh, once you're up there, you really do feel invincible. The old armor, the shield, love a bit of that. And uh, number one, number one on my top 10 Barry outfits have to be the whoa hair and the trench coat. I like this one because it just makes me feel like I can dodge missiles in a very slow 90s way. I mean, I can't, but definitely makes me feel like I can. So there you go, guys. My top 10 fashion tips, top 10 Barry outfits. And, uh, that was... What? No, that was 10, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was 10. It was definitely 10. Well, it's not like anyone's gonna go back and re-watch that bit to make sure I actually did 10. I think my fans have got better things to do with their time than that. Alright, fine. Well, if it was only 8, then we'll call this episode 8. And the first three were practice episodes, you know? 
episode eight, 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 eight. You happy now? Yeah, good. Let's move along. Time for some questions. All right, guys. So with the questions this week, obviously noticing a little bit of a theme. Why did the other games go? Hashtag bring fish out of water back. Please bring back Monster Dash and Age of Zombies. Look, it's time I addressed these concerns. And it's fair enough that you have concerns. Everyone wants their fair share of Barry. But uh, how can I say this? Look, let me put it to you this way, fans. A game, a game is a lot like an egg. You know, you can't just sit your egg there on the windowsill and expect it to grow. Your egg needs, you know, your egg needs food. Your egg needs to be watered and kept warm. And if you put the time in, then eventually you get an eggplant or or something. Is that right? Is that anyway? Anyway, the, the point is, guys, games take a lot of time, a lot of care to maintain, and sometimes if the developers feel that the game has run its course, they'll put that time into, into new, new games and better games and more exciting stuff that's, that's coming up. I guess what I'm trying to say is sometimes the fond memory of a game is worth more than the cost of updating them to meet the standards, the current legal and app store requirements. I'm sure you understand. Watch this space for new and exciting things and stop living in the past, I guess, is what they're telling me. Striker Sand says, How much money do you even have, considering you have jetpacks that shoot money? And the robot bird. Look, fair question, and you might assume that I'm loaded because I'm Barry Steak Fries. And, uh, well, you'd actually be wrong, guys. Those, those jetpacks cost money to run. They don't just generate money. They cost the you put you put the bucks in, and that's what they shoot back out. You know, it's not actually a money making exercise. I was as disappointed as you when I learned that. Let me tell you, thought I was onto a money maker, but I just wound up having to insert my last twenty bucks just to move the thing six feet. You know, not really good value, not really practical. Definitely doesn't supply me with the with the uh, rent money that I. Uh, that I really need. Anyway, sorry to disappoint everybody. Uh, enough about my financials. Let's go on. Shadow Man Gaming 62. Why is Sam's other arm missing? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. He's a strong arm machine, not the strong arms machine, mate. Next. XX Gaming with Alchemy X. X. Press. Read more. Sounds intriguing. I'll have a little bit of a look. You're, you're, what? What? You're cursed to undo. Subs what? I don't want to be cursed. Why are people trying to curse me? I'm just trying to do a simple video blog. Now I'm, I wind up having to dodge curses. We well, you know what? A curse on you, XX Gaming Alchemy X. I can do a curse. I curse you. I curse you in falsetto. I should do the trick. Take that. Don't mess with Barry. That's the bottom line. And on that note, you go not messing with yourselves and don't curse anyone this week and be nice. That's the Barry Steak Fries episode 10 thought of the day. No more cursing. Or curses. See you next time. Barry Steak Fries.